So that is kind of what it sounded like. Rock arm stuck. So if the rock arm is stuck, it's probably that little sensor for the rock arm. Um, so I just swapped it out. Let's go ahead and delete it because we're done with it. Okay, so we have no more check engine light. Oh wow, that drained my battery. Hold on. Well, now I need to charge the car. <laughs> ah, damn it. Well, it's done anyway. You guys heard it run. Now I have to just jump it because it's been sitting for a while. But it's fixed. I heard it run for like 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with the Honda Element. I got it. code P2647. That's going to fix the problem. I'm going to go ahead and take off this guy, which is three bolts. I'll actually be showing you guys on a different engine just so you can see see it so this is the engine that's going in the element but for right now I just need this problem fixed so really you're just reaching back here from the top but I'm going to show you guys what you guys are getting so you guys are going to be taking off these three bolts one two three and this guy will pop out you're going to clean out the filter so let's go ahead and do that And it's pretty easy. You don't need to take any of this stuff off. I mean, you can move this out of the way, but it's really not in the way. But if you guys do need to get out of the way, um, just take off the top bolt. It's a 10. That's all you'll need here is a 10. And then you'll want to disconnect those two plugs. You didn't see them on the other one. That's basically the two sensors that go to this. So you want to unplug those first. Okay, so once unplugged, you kind of want to move them out of the way. I think there's one more sensor connected to this, so you can only really just wiggle it off to the side and then like I was showing you guys on the other engine you guys just get those three bolts oh well, I cannot see it past the heat shield there they are those three bolts you see that one bolt that's popping out there that's one of the three so there's only about your hand axis in there that'll fix this problem that we're having Okay, so when you're in here, you'll see a bunch of sludge. Um, you have two options. Replace it, which is what I recommend. The bolts are also very long. They just only thread that much. So I basically crack them loose and just take them out by hand. So you have two options. Replace this, clean it out. I'd rather replace it, but uh, because I got the wrong one, I'm going to have to be reusing it. It doesn't look too terrible. So I'm going to be reusing it, plus I'm going to be replacing the engine. So I'm going to just clean this guy out just so I can move him around without having the fear of it going into limp mode like it was. And this is probably part of the problem on why <laughs> why this guy is, is malfunctioning here. I didn't even see that until right now. This guy's cracked, cracked. So yeah, so I'm going to clean this guy out with some carb choke cleaner. And then uh, I'm going to put him back on and see if the car runs any better. It should. This is the issue here. Okay, see so the order of these bolts does not matter. Just try to put them back on. So it's all clean. Use the carb choke cleaner, and I got a bunch of crap out, so it'll probably help with this little guy. Um, I might have to replace this guy. And you know what, I will take it off of the other one now that I'm here, because uh, that's probably what's making the fault in the first place. So let's go over to the other one. It might just be the sensor that's fucked in the first place, but since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take that guy off from this guy here. So I swapped out the top, now to put it back in. Like I said, I'm swapping the engine, so I'm not too worried about this being perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of wiggle him back in place, and then uh, connect the two sensors and s delete the code and see if it comes back on. If it does, we have another issue in our hands. If it doesn't, it'll be good.
whatever that was, it's gone forever. Oh, one of these. You bitch. It'd be just my fucking luck that it doesn't fit. Looks the fucking same dog. Okay, I'll fucking plug it back in. Okay.